hello viewers welcome to my channel so i am solving slc science paper 80 marks so first question is so you are saying mcq type of questions so the si unit of electric charge is volt ampere coulomb joule so answer is coulomb the suitable focal length of the convex lens used as magnifying lens to read hallmark 916 return on ornament is so here is 12 cm 60 cm 100 cm 120 cm so answer is 12 cm so the magnetic field lines inside solenoid are in the form of parallel straight lines the reason for this is magnetic field inside the solenoid is very high uniform zero produced by electricity so here the answer is uniform so first three is mcq types of questions so next one more question answer the following questions if the radius of the curvature of a lens is 30 cm then what is the uh, its focal length so this type of questions very easy so radius is 30 cm given so f equal to you know formula r by 2 so f equal to 30 by 2 so here is the answer f equal f is uh, 15 so next uh, question also one mark in the experiment of the refraction through a glass slab the angle of incidence should be less than 90 degree why the angle of incidence should be less than 90 degree because if it's excess 90 degree angle it causes total internal reflection instead of uh, refraction so next question 6 to 8 these are two marks questions so draw the ray diagram to show the formation of image by a convex lens when the object is kept between 2f1 and f1 so you are seeing the principle of focus of convexness so the ray diagram is as follows so uh, this type of questions is very uh, important for the point of examination for two marks so other questions the resistivity of our two conductors a and b are 1.62 into 10 to the power of 8 ohm meter and 5.20 into 10 to the power of minus 8 ohm meter respectively which of them is used in uh, a mm, transportation of electricity next conductor a is used in transporting electricity the making of heating coil y conductor b is used in making of heating coils because it is high resistivity and resistance to oxidation at high temperature so next question is also two marks eight uh, eight number questions observe the following table complete the table using ohm's law so uh, already uh, solved so you are seeing serial number one two three the electric current is given potential difference and resistance this of questions also uh, very important for the point of examination so nine to eleven these are uh, three marks questions answer the following questions draw the diagram of an electric generator table following parts carbon brushes and rings so this is the figure so you are seeing uh, carbon brushes and rings so named carbon brush and rings also will here so you are seeing the brushes and carbon rings explain the experiment to find out the focal length of a convex lens the focal length of a convex lens is 100 centimeter 500 is power so already given values uh, red on and later we you know formula 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u so you are seeing i am scrolled down so you are seeing v equal to minus 10 centimeter so magnification v by v uh, v by u so m equal to 1 by 3 next question explain the advantages and disadvantages of solar cells advantages of solar cells eco-friendly and cause less pollution they have low maintenance cost the source of energy for solar cell is present in abundance disadvantages uh, of solar cell the cost of manufacturing is very expensive solar cells have low efficiency they can convert only about 25 percent of light energy falling on them into electricity it cannot be used in absence of light from any source so later 12 to 13 four more questions so we are seeing four more questions explain the principles of working of simple electric motor what is the role of 
Splitting rings in electric motor. How are commercial motors different from simple electric motor? So I'm scroll downing the answers. So students, you see the answers, and you will practice four more questions. So other questions is state Ohm's law. Mention the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depend. So Ohm's law is here. The factors also uh, here giving this question is very very important for the point of examination. Ohm's law. So also be state Joule's law of heating and write the mathematics formula of, of this depend. So this all questions are very very important. So then part B chemistry. So 14, 15, 16s are here MCQ type questions. The gas liberated when acid reacts with metal is this answer is hydrogen. Next question MC2 questions. The hydrocarbon that undergoes addition reactions among the following is C3 R6. In modern predictable, as we move from left to right along the period, the atomic size of the elements is decreases. So later, one mark questions, three one mark questions are there. Is it possible to test the hardness of water using detergents? Give the reason for your answer. In the modern period table, the elements of 17th group are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, respectively. Which element has the highest ability to receive electrons? Why? The answer is fluorine. It has seven valence electrons. It has only needs only one more electron to achieve octet structure or noble gas configuration. How many compounds have high melting points? Why? How many compounds have high melting point as it takes a lot of energy to overcome the strong electron? To static force of attraction between opposite charge ions. So later 22, 22, two more questions are there. So name the ketone having four carbon atoms and write the structure. So you are seeing four carbon means this is butanone. So you are seeing the structural formula. Next question. Draw the diagram of the apparatus used to show that acid solution in water conducts electricity and label dilute HCl. So we are seeing the figure. 6 volt battery, bulb switch, beaker, nail, dilute HCl solution, rubber cork. Next question also that is also two more questions. The gas liberated when sodium carbon carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid is passed through lime water. A wild precipitate is formed, but when the same gas is passed through lime water in excess, precipitate is not visible. Why? This is also too much question. So you are seeing the reason. I am scrolling down. Just observe the answer and practice it more. Answer the following questions. So these questions are 23 to 25, 3 much questions. Explain the limitations of Mendeleev's predictable. So limitations of Mendel uh, predictable is giving here. So just I'm um, scroll down, just see the answer, position of hydrogen in the predictable. And isotopes have uh, haven't been given separate place in predictable. Increase in atomic mass was not regular while moving from one element to another. Mendeleev didn't confirm completely to the order of atomic mass. So here the answer. So write the difference between saturated carbon compounds and unsaturated carbon compounds, carbon from covalent bonds with other atoms but not ionic bonds. Why? Explain. So here the difference saturated and hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. So I am scrolling down. So see the answer. So just to write the difference between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. This is also three mass question. Draw the diagram of the 
arrangement of the apparatus showing the reactions of steam on metal label the following so metal sample and uh, delivery tube so metal sample here the delivery tube also you are see seeing so these are the parts so later four marks question water alloys name the alloy which has lead and tin as its constituent and write one of its uses so i am scroll down the answer just see the correct answer so b what is the amphoteric acid right any two chemical properties of metals so a b questions are there so later biology here also two 27 and 28 mcq type of questions the practice of using used materials without changing their shape and form is reuse a correct statement with respect to biodegradable substance among the following is these substances so undergo recycling naturally in the environment this is the correct answer so later 29 to 31 3 one more questions how is ozone layer is formed in the atmosphere ozone is formed when heat and sunlight cause chemical reactions between oxides of nitrogen and volatile organic compounds which are known as hydrocarbons these reactions can occur both near the ground and high in the atmosphere forest are called biodiversity hotspots why so this uh, also one type one more, one more questions so forests are considered biodiversity hotspots because the large number of life forms such as bacteria fungi ferns many more so are formed there these are the regions which the biodiversity of endangered species many of them being highly endemic mention any two problems caused by the constructions of dams so problem caused by the construction of dams are they wipe out flora and fauna species the habitation surfaces in that particular region will be harmed and disturbed let us see so next questions two more questions are there 32 33 two more questions are there the tendrils of a pea plant appear to move in a particular directions as they grow how is this response caused so here is the question so you are seeing the answer i am scrolling down so you write proper answer with mentioning some points correct points So next question draw the diagram showing the longitudinal section of a typical flower and label on them so you are seeing the uh, labeling of anther and filament so anther and filament you are seeing anther and filament you are seeing so 34 to 36 three more questions are there having two sets of genes in the germ cells is not possible clarify next question what is sexual maturation how does menstruation occur what is the function of placenta during pregnancy this is also three marks questions so you are seeing the answer so also see the points which points you should write next question three marks question how are the studies of anatomical structures helpful for tracing evolutionary relationships this time scroll down also b how could we determine that the birds are closely related to reptiles so 37 question this is four mark question draw the diagram showing the longitudinal sections of the human brain label the following parts so here one is hypothalamus and other one is medulla so hypothalamus and medulla you should label in a proper in correct manner so you will get four marks easily so you are seeing cerebrum forebrain midbrain cranium and hypothalamus hand brain 
para thread pawns medulla so you should practice with leveling correct so other question last 38 question concern to 5 marks question so answer the following question a what are the functions of the fluids blood and lymph in humans what are the different waste materials added to the urine from the blood so just i'm scroll down the answer so you are seeing the total answer so a this is the answer for a question so here b how are the waste materials excreted in plants thank you very much for more educational updates subscribe my channel thank you very much